Hey guys, welcome to Let's Play Bastion. Um, not really know sure how to how to describe this one. An action RPG indie game first showed up on Xbox Live. Now it's on Steam. We are gonna turn the music down just a little uh, before we get going here. There we go. More action than RPG. We are gonna do normal mode. That's okay. The soundtrack is awesome, and the game. Proper story is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. He gets up, sets off for the bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. Ground forms up under his feet as it point in the way. He don't stop to wonder why. Finds his lifelong friend just lying in the road. Well, it's a touching reunion. So yeah, the um, game is narrated by a man who he sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant. In the calamity. I, I really don't want to talk over the narrator because it's one of the most interesting That's a survivor. Features. No, ma'am. It's a gas fella. Forced out from underground. Kid pops him good. Fella got a piece of him though. I don't think he did, but he may have. Uh, combat's a little wonky in this game. Takes real getting used to. Kid just rages for a while. So we're collecting these little shards. They're basically money. But yeah, the... An old repeater falls out of the sky. Ain't a gift from the gods, but it'll have to do. Got a holder still to spin up the chamber. So we're gonna get, like I said, this game's a little bit more actiony than RPG. Yes. Uh, now that that's a bad thing, the game is amazing, and you'll uh, be seeing in this let's play. I love the art style. The Kids worked up quite a thirst by now, so that fountain looks real inviting. Sometimes you just need a drink. Love them, the music. A school of squirts tunnels up around them. Must have fled here from the mines. I'm really bad at dodging. Always have been in this game, always will be. It's been about six months since I've played this seven months. Played it right when it came out on Steam. It went on sale. He sets foot inside one of Selandia's famous watering holes. Inside's old Rondi, the bartender. The calamity got him before his drinking did. And we actually have to, uh, unfortunately beat the crap out of him. Then Kid finds his trusty shield. Pretty sure that's it. No. But just as he's getting a handle on it, the security takes him for a petty thief. So we can reflect with our shield, and if we do it, Clang. there we go. Shield saves us hide. Windbags start turning up for last call. It's an interesting world. I really, really like uh, world building. And this game has it in spades. More squirts start coming out of the woodwork. A big old fella pops out in front of the kid. Yeah. This guy's. Yeah. 
The windbags will be. Them windbags are playing for keeps. The majority of our enemies. Kid sees the weight of the bastion out the window. It's a bit of a drop. Gonna heal again. Yeah, that was that one didn't go as well as I thought it would. He gets a good look at things on his way down. He lands on top of a breaker's bow, and it ain't broke. I actually prefer the bow. Not my favorite ranged weapon. We'll be seeing that real soon. Kid spies a good perch for some target practice. He knows he should draw the string all the way back. I'm making this look easier than, uh... The kid pockets a memento from a breaker, once the fastest man in the land. That will be used to upgrade our, uh... And you can't fall off the edge here. Good news is the emergency defenses still work. Bad news is they're aiming for the kid. Right back at you. you. So yeah, you can counter. Picks up a few pointers from a dusty old tome. There we go. There we go. It's been a while. The, uh, little black potions used to, uh, refill our ability meter, and I don't remember how to use Yeah, this... He finds the distillery, right next to the arsenal. Tough part of town. Okay. He's a mighty fast learner. So yeah, like I said, I really, really like the overall aesthetic of this game. The world is really engaging and beautiful. One sip of the spirits in that distillery, and the kid'll feel like a new man. So we got Squirt Cider, which gives us a little bit of health. I didn't actually mean to pick that. Uh, this is the 10% critical chance. We're actually going to keep that. Um, I didn't mean to do that, but we'll, we'll keep it. The arsenals where the kid can pick the best tools for the job. So we got our breaker's bow, our fang repeater, and our kale hammer. And... And we can also get that. Um, we're gonna roll with what we got for now. Some of them squirts birthing like crazy in a couple of corn bins. Yeah. I usually try to focus on combat, or ranged combat, because, as you can see, letting the enemies get close to you is a stupid idea. Like I said, the soundtrack. And oh. then, he yep, falls that's what I meant death. by you can fall. I'm just fooling. An old ferry barge sends the kid on his way. The bastion's real close now. 
Then if you look in the backdrop... You can see... The calamity. I love the combat music. Kit takes a chunk of alloy. The smell of barley and spoiled blueberries fills the air. Scumbags. Kid maybe shouldn't have done what he just did. Scumbags are probably one of the worst enemies. They got that AoE. We are only level one. And there is a level mechanic in this game. Say that there are bosses. There are. They're they're not quite what you'd expect from bosses, but they are indeed. There are some some bosses. Right. So hopefully, by this first episode, we all kind of have an idea of how this game is going to go. The introduction does a really good job uh, showing off the game. He finds the core to the Wharf District. He steals the city's heart. Might as well. And we are going to get the hell out of here. Kid has a feeling you better get a move on. The place is starting to fall. And it is. Take the path, let's travel. Take the we actually leveled up. See that core kid took was the only thing making this particular rock stay afloat. Kid just keeps running. I want that. See the At last, the skyway is in sight. Whisks him where it needs to go. We actually got an achievement. I actually have all the achievements. Now the kid sees something stranger still. His mind races. And uh, we actually are going to end the episode. Oh, we can't. We can't save yet. I forgot. Well. Did anybody else survive? Nope. Sure enough, he finds another. He finds me. We talk for a spell. There's a bit of the Bastion's power in that crest, enough to point the way to the cores. All I tell him is to set that core is on the monument there, then watch. So we are now at the Bastion. We've met our narrator, he simply goes by the name Stranger. And 
and as you can see, the Bastion's not a whole hell of a lot to look at right now. Kid ain't finished here yet. So, when we ever when we put a core in, we'll get this little cutscene. And just like that, the Bastion comes alive. Starts growing again. Growing stronger. Kid's gotta put its power to good use. Now the Bastion can send him even farther into the wild unknown. Kid ponders what to build. I'm gonna build a distillery. Makes time to sample spirits from my personal supply. Squirt cider. Squirt cider will toughen you right up. Too bad about the musty aftertaste. Yeah, yeah don't I know it? Ain't always much to say. So I believe we're going to save and quit. So as always, guys. Thanks for watching, and with every new series, if you like what you see, please, please, please consider liking, favoriting, and subscribing. It definitely helps me out so I can keep doing this. I'm not doing it for money, but our fame, our critical acclaim, but doing it to entertain you. So I figured I'd pick a game that I personally think is one of the best indie games developed. And uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching.